must not allow for mercy. The Lizardmen, fierce warriors and masters of the arcane arts. They compose one of the most stalwart races that partake in the conflicts which rend the new and the old world alike. Animated by a will few can hope to comprehend, they march against insurmountable odds. For it's not the thirst for power to dig their hind claws in the mud of the battlefield, or strengthen the grip on their scaled shields as they brace for the enemy's charge. It's not the hunger for glory that leads them to faraway lands in search of their destiny. It's not even their own will to survive that gives them the strength to stave off the nightmarish horrors of the Dark Gods. What empowers them is the great plan, the role they were all born to fulfill. They are the ultimate defenders of this realm, and they know no relent. But to better understand this unbridled determination, we must first know of their greatest leaders, of their personalities, plans, and deeds. In this episode, we will dive deeper into the study of one of such mythical figures. Not too long ago, we asked the channel's awesome patrons what Lizardman Legendary Lord they wanted to see, and Lord Mazda Mundi came out on top. As the mightiest leader of the Lizardman race, his will won't be denied. In an ever-growing number of threats, spyware, and other menaces that lurk on the internet. What better way to stay protected than using Surfshark? Surfshark is a VPN service that turns you into an anonymous and hard to trace online user and makes the internet a safer and more enjoyable place for you by being jam-packed with features to get the most out of your browsing experience. Reach your favorite sites and services, even in countries that ban them, as Surfshark bypasses censorship and geo-blocking to give you access to your favorite web services, games, and series. There are many advantages of having a VPN service working for you. And if you have been thinking of giving it a go, now just might be the perfect time to get their limited time offer. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals slash bookofchoyer and enter the promo code bookofchoyer for 83% off and four extra months for free. It is easy and risk-free to try. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, if you don't like it, you can simply cancel your subscription and get your investment back. Behind every great battle, there must be a masterful architect of war. Behind every spell and incantation, there must be a mind tempered by knowledge and wisdom. Behind every plan and purpose, there must be an unfathomable, true foresight. No Lizardman figure comes quite as close to these claims. Like the Lord of the Solar City, High Slan Mage Priest of Hexawattle, oldest and mightiest of all slans, Lord Mazda Mundi. Instructed by Lord Croak himself at the dawn of creation. He was one of the many Slan Mages who fought in the Great Catastrophe when the realms of chaos spewed chaotic energies and demons into the material world. His physical body was attended to and protected against anything that came too close during the chaos invasions of the Great Catastrophe. 
by the many guardians and inhabitants of the temple city of Hexawattle. Titanic battles were fought during those times, pitching thousands of lizardmen against unending hordes of demons of all shapes and forms. With the skies aflame and the very earth shaking to its core, the coming of chaos would forever scar the history of the world. As the portals collapsed, the old ones disappeared, their fate unknown. But still, the Lizardmen fought on to contain this new foe. While these bloody battles took place all over Lustria and the wider world, the mages of the Elves living in Ulthwan managed to create the Great Vortex after much bloodshed and sacrifice. The ritual was a powerful spell that sucked and drained away all the foul magic that flooded the world. Deprived of their essence and source of magical energy, the demons disappeared back to the realm of chaos. Despite that, the entire world was forever marked, uncountable lives lost, and the very air saturated with magic, corruption, and twisted monsters that would forever roam the land. Worst of all for the Lizardmen, the Old Ones were gone, and many of the Slans were dead. The ones that remained were all affected by the events that marked the first coming of Chaos. It seemed that Lord Mazdamundi had fallen into a seemingly perpetual slumber, together with the few surviving members of his species. It was then discovered that he and the rest of his kind had been locked in a titanic psychic struggle to keep their minds and spirits untouched from the leftover effects and influence of chaos. Once crystal clear, now their thoughts were fogged by constant disturbances that would undermine their attempts in studying the skies. Since chaos invaded the mortal realms, and their creators, the Old Ones, had left them. It had become their task to dive deep in their teachings, extrapolate even the smallest hint in what the purpose of the Lizardmen was to be. What was the ultimate purpose of the Great Plan? How should they proceed now that they were left without their guide? What was the Great Plan supposed to entail? During an unsuspected chaos invasion of the ruined city of Plen Cam, the slam that lived there used his last breath and shard of will to send a message to all the other members of his kind, warning them that the dark gods and their foul minions had returned. But even as the majority of the mage priests left their cities, at the lead of great columns of Saurus warriors and mighty creatures of war. The oldest between them would remain motionless on their palanquins, suspended atop their golden ziggurats. One such slan was to be the great mage priest, Mazda Mundi, contemplating the possibilities deep in their meditations the Slan used their might to try to uncover their purpose and their role in the Great Plan. It would only be years later that the Great Slan would finally heed the cries for help of his subjects. It was an age where the many races who populated the world had finally recovered from the Great Catastrophe and the subsequent invasions, where they now spewed forth in search of new lands to conquer and riches to reclaim. It wouldn't take long for them to discover the lost lands of Lustria, rich with the lost city's unimaginable wealth, as well as teeming with the various carnivorous beasts and plants the mage priests had cast into them to hinder the forces of chaos during the catastrophe. But the Slans had greater plans to attend to. 
Statues of gold, priceless jewels, and coins had no worth to them. The only thing they really treasured were the lost plaques of the old ones. Stone tablets graven with the knowledge their creators left them to interpret their last wishes before disappearing. Such relics had moved entire armies in their rescue, some expeditions even reaching far across the world. They had to send armies abroad, while at the same time defending from the numerous invaders that constantly wandered into the jungle continent of Lustria to sack their rich temples. Thus, once a particularly stubborn mercenary captain under the name of El Cadavo, sent foot on Lustria to claim the lost temple of Pahuax. The skinks in service of Mazdamundi ran to his presence for help. Twice this had already happened, as every time a host of lizardmen had been sent out to deal with the annoying humans, they would eventually come back. As the skinks climbed their way to the top of the great ziggurat, they feared for the possible response of their master. Thrice he would have now been disturbed in the span of a decade. A blink of an eye for such ancient and timeless creatures like the Slam. It was then, after the Skinks had delivered the grim news, that for the first time in untold millennia, Mastamundi's eyes glared wide open. Bottomless pits of crackling energy intense enough to rival the heat of the sun itself. Empowered by sheer anger, he ordered for his palanquin to be mounted on top of the greatest Stegodon, and assemble an army to ride out to deal with the irksome insects. Once the deadly lizardman host reached the warm blood's encampment, Mazdamundi spurred his mount to reach the top of a nearby hill. From there, the figure of his mount was evident, if blinded by the sun's outline, shining, burning bright behind it. At his apparition, the humans could be seen scattering to arm themselves for the incoming battle against the lizardmen. But the great mage priest had no plans to meet them on the mud-drenched soil of the jungle. They were but insects, and deserved to be dispatched as such. As the powerful slam raised one hand, the earth beneath the encampment started to shake and rumble. Like traversed by lightning and an invisible force, Mud and trees started to part, as the ground was rent apart in all directions. The pointed edges of every fissure aimed towards the heart of the warm blood's formations. Then, Mazdamundi's hand gently closed in a clenched fist, and as he did, the screams of hundreds were drowned and crushed by the shocking crack of stone, and the images of slaughter were suddenly hidden behind a thick blanket of dust and dirt. Earth and stone bent to the Great Slan's will, swallowing line after line of soldiers. Once the earth stopped quaking, nothing remained of the invading force. Returned to Hexuatl, the mighty lord went back to his slumber. Yet now his blood had been stirred, and his sleep would never again be as deep. Woe to the warm bloods who would despoil our realm, for their craving for trinkets and baubles drives them deeper into lands forbidden to them. Cast them out, show them no pity. Feed the carcasses to the beasts of the jungle, and leave their bones to bleach upon the golden shores of our land. 
Let them see that it is folly to intrude upon the domains of the Lizardmen. Not long after, Mazda Mundi, as the powerful slan he is, was able to decipher a set of particularly rare stone plaques that would reveal important details of the Great Plan. The cold-blooded ones have failed to exterminate from the planet all the other races and beings that do not belong in the Great Plan. Lord Mazda Mundi concluded that this had to take the utmost importance, as no further steps could be attempted before clearing the world of the chaos that tainted it. Mazdamundi would proceed to lead the Lizardmen race, coming to be arguably their most fearsome and potent master. Able to move mountains from one place to another, to part the waters a pure force of will, and crush entire armies with his incredibly powerful incantations. Armed with his unfathomable powers, majestic foresight, and grim resolve, he would defend his temple city from the relentless assaults of many infamous enemies, whilst being enforced by some of the Lizardmen's mightiest warriors. Having a sentience of its own, his mace attacks with incredible speed. It strikes any foe who dares to come close to Lord Master Mundi. Shaped like a cobra, it has struck down many foes in defense of its wielder. He also carries the legendary sunburst standard of Hexawattle. This golden totem inspires nearby lizardmen warriors whilst blinding their foes with its unnatural brightness. It depicts the sun with a slan stylized face. It is believed to represent Chotek, who was one of the old ones and is the patron god of Hexawattle. The armies of the Lizardmen march forth in search of the remaining lost plaques, and they are looking to exterminate with cold blooded efficiency any who does not belong in the Great Plan marked by the Old Ones in the beginning of time. Mazda Mundi leads the way, and any unfortunate soul who may find himself in his path will be crushed to dust. On this channel, we are putting together narrative Total War cinematic battles and Warhammer lore videos. A special thank you goes to our Patreon supporters who help us in the making of more content. You can also join Patreon and earn extra perks while supporting the videos to come. Find the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.